Okay. Hello. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Hello, Asma. Hello, Jasmine. Hello. Hello. Nice to see you. And uh, welcome everyone to the last Kukulong tonight. Uh, it's a real feast for you. Uh, expect incredible and amazing, comforting uh, home cooked dishes from Bengali cuisine. My name is Hanel Hadiwi. I'm volunteer and support manager with Heart and Parcel Project. Uh, so uh, this Open Kitchen 2.2 2021 and 2022, run by Heart and Parcel Project and supported by, by Community Fund. It's lovely to meet you again. And a big thanks to everyone who joined us in the live streaming. Please be free to ask any questions or any comments. And welcome to all your comments and feedback as well. With me tonight, Claire, who is our director and the co-founder of Heart and Parcel Projects. If you want to say hello to our participants and people who join us the live streaming. Hi, everybody. Hi, everyone in the Zoom room. It's great to see so many familiar faces here. And also hello to everyone on the live stream as well. And I'm really looking forward to tonight. You're in for such a treat with Aklima and her wonderful recipes. I think you've already all checked the ingredients list. You can see that there's lots of interesting things on there. So enjoy it and uh, really happy to be here tonight. Ah, thank you so much, Claire. And with me tonight, Khadija, who is the mentor and the teacher of our previous Open Kitchen uh, 2.1. Uh, uh, Khadija, if you want to say something, hello from Pakistan. <laughs> I think her internet yes, is a bit yes, patchy in Pakistan. <laughs> yes, we know so far. <laughs> so let me present you, Akima, who is our your teacher, who we guide you through her recipes, of course, knowledge and stories behind the dishes. And amazing, amazing dishes, believe me. If you want to say, to say hello, Akima. Hello. Uh, my name is Atlima Akhtar. Um, I live in now Sheffield. Mm. Yeah, thank you so much. This thank is um, our traditional food. Kilsha fish is our national fish. And uh, three, uh, may, uh, aberjean, tomato, and coriander. Oh. I'm so happy. Uh, Kokalam. Thank you. Thank yeah. you so much, Akima, because believe me, she's an amazing teacher. But before we start to leave you to Akima, your teacher tonight, just let me share with you an uh, introduction. Uh, so uh, we will have a small activity at the beginning, uh, chance to meet all of you. Please, if you have any question to me, Aklima or Claire, feel free to ask or other participants as well. Uh, you can ask uh, verbally or type any point in the chat box. If you think you don't need to ask any question during the cooking, please turn your microphone on mute. Claire will do this as well. Of course, we will summarize the, inscri the instructions uh, each step. Uh, if anyone or behind, don't worry about this. And Khadija as well will, uh, will, uh, will uh, write everything in the chat box with measurements and ingredients. So keep your video on if you can, so we can see where you are up to. About technical issue could happen like Tonight, Khadija, uh, she had a little, little bit of problem of connection. So for you, please don't worry, click back in the Zoom room. So my game for you tonight, I have this question. I was thinking which one I will ask you. 
this it means like uh, I will I want you um, to bring your memories uh, back and uh, ask ask you this question: Do you remember which ingredient or spicy reminds you of the smell of love? What is mean? It could be a place or could be a, a person who cooked for you or maybe you cooked for him or her. Uh, could be some ingredients, spices, your mom or your husband, like, you, like in your memories, um, remind you the love or maybe someone show you the love. So please, you have 15 seconds to grab it, maybe to paint, or maybe to bring back your memory, and uh, and hold on to the screen. Are you ready? Please, have some. I want you. <laughs> <laughs> give them time. Give them time. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I want you to think. <laughs> I can see Jasmine. Maybe as well in the chat box. Someone, am I supposed ah. to say something? Tell us. Oh, Jazz, yes. <laughs> so, Jasmine, who have you got with you tonight as well? Can I change your name? Hi. This is hi, Sadie. Hi. Sadie, hi. Oh, hi. Put, nice I'll to meet you, you Sorry, I was late. <laughs> <laughs> Great, let me just hi. change your name there. Thank you. I've, I've bought some uh, mountain tea over, which my cousin got me from um back bought me back from Athens and they sell it in the market near where he was living um and it's like picked up in the mountains in Greece so mm. just and, like and a, a personal this? love story oh. <laughs> and and how is the smell of this air? the smell is quite um it's quite subtle but it's almost like I don't know it's like a bit green tea, but also it's got a sweetness to it, like a bit vanillary as well. Mm. Yes, we can find it in Manchester in the shop and everywhere in Man like in the in the, in the Asia, mountain tea. You can find it. Can, can I? I? <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. There's only one shop in London that I know that sells it. So oh, this is very interesting. Really, thank you so much. So, what about you, Nina? Hello everyone, um, so mine is right here and it's uh, nutmeg which is an ingredient that my mum pretty much uses in most recipes and it just reminds me of her um, and we always have the little shaker here so it kind of the kitchen always smells a bit of nutmeg and that just reminds me of my mum cooking so Aww. That, that's what reminds me of love. <laughs> I love it. Especially because it reminds me the Italian speciality. They use love, love, love. Yeah. I love yeah. Now, thank you so much, Nina. And what about you, Hafsa? Hafsa and Mohsin, yeah. It says hot paprika, but really it needs to be smoky paprika. Um, because my husband Jamal he never used to cook a lot and when he started learning this was his spice of choice in everything um, so <laughs> <laughs> maybe she loved the smell because uh, <laughs> so, so so good and what uh, what about you uh, Claire so I don't have any of this, the thing that I love in the house because I always eat it all, but I, I, it's a bit boring. I chose chocolate. So I've got some cocoa powder. <laughs> oh, sorry, Mo. Mo's got one too. I'm going to come back to Mo. Mm -hmm. um, some chocolate powder just because I, I absolutely love it. And whenever I really, really am craving something, Kieran always makes me something chocolatey, like a chocolate cake or, or something sweet. So I, I, I love that. It, I associate that with love. Oh, so lovely. You can see how many ways we show the love through, through spices. Definitely. Very, very interesting. I'll go back to Mo, um, Hanan, because yes. Mo has got a 
Let me just, yes. I don't know if Sadie's got one as well. I can come yes. back to Sadie. I'll come back to you in just a sec, but Mo. You, you didn't have to come back to me. She typed it before <laughs> I had a chance to say no. But my smell, my smell of love is the smell of cardamom pods. Because the first time Asma, my wife, tried to cook me a curry, she got the um, she got the recipe completely wrong. And she put a handful <laughs> of cardamom pods in oil. And I can remember going, what is that smell? And I ran to the kitchen and she's like, I just put all of this stuff in. I don't really know what it is, but I'm sure this is the right thing. But it was completely wrong. Um, but it will always remind me of the time she tried to uh, cook me my first curry. Yeah. Oh, Especially because the cardamom is really, really nice. I love it. It all, especially yeah. with the bakery. With the bakery. Yeah. In small quantities, <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to come, Sadie, do you have one? You don't have to have one if you don't want to, but if you do um, have one. I, I, I kind of do have one. I mean, I have a few. Rose and cardamom would probably be them, but I'm going to go with Rose because um, uh, I don't know. It just makes me feel a certain way. So there, there have been a few Rose things that I've loved. One thing, which Jasmine probably doesn't even know, but... Um, <laughs> Jasmine got me these biscuits once and I searched for them all the time, but they're really hard to find and I wish I could make them, but they were rose. I don't even know what they were. Do you remember them? They blew my mind. <laughs> anyway, they were the best biscuits that I've ever tasted. Do you remember what they were? Oh, I do remember. I <laughs> they do were like rose remember. and white chocolate. Yeah, I can't remember. They, they were, were really thin. They were kind of like Florentines, but um, they were rose and white chocolate. I don't know. They just they just oh. blew my mind, and I've never had a, a nicer a nicer biscuit. But there's this um, there's this spirit called Lanique, which Ooh. is is kind of like rose flavored aperol. Oh, um, it's like a rose spirit, um, mm. and I have had many fun times drinking. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> the smell of smell of rose I guess that yeah. sounds great oh, but not great. artificial rose obviously no the real stuff <laughs> thank, oh, you. thank you <laughs> I have just one from Najla she said the Arabic coffee beans it reminds her uh, mom her mom uh, when she was uh, grounded the coffee yeah, because the smell of the coffee really really nice yeah mm. yeah but for me, I want just to share with you, let's eat in one because this is a special uh, spices or, or, uh, for, uh, from my country, Morocco, is the fenugreek tea. I don't Ooh, know. I love fenugreek. We use this. Remind me, my sister, when I traveled to Morocco, she prepared for me uh, our traditional and the um, uh, the, like national and traditional Moroccan food is Rafisa. Without this, we can't do it. Really, really, really nice dish. This reminds me of her love, uh, how she cooked, how she, she prepared everything for me. Yeah. So, thank you so much for sharing with, the, with us your memories as well. Now, it's, uh, it's your moment. I be, did you prepare yourself? Uh, because Aklima, she is waiting uh, to guide you uh, through her recipes. Uh, so, Aklima, it's over to you. Uh, you are the teacher. Bring your participants in your Bangladeshi recipe. Okay? <laughs> so, Aklima, please. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, uh, can I now start? In? Yes, yes, of course. <laughs> Everybody ready? Yes, I think so. Yeah. Hi. Uh, okay, so, Hi, yeah. so now starting, first step um, we'll do rice, uh, rice, uh, broken mashmuti rice. Yeah. Uh, everybody know. Um, I use. Um, rice cooker, uh, you can use normal pan. Okay. So uh, I put uh, rice there before I washed. So now just I put 
Test Cooper. Yes. Uh, half kilo. Yes. So, Aklima, please, if you can uh, tell them all the ingredients and measurements for the rice. If, I want just to say, check with them if they are already all the ingredients. Yeah, half a... Uh... Mm -hmm. so, uh, 500, 500 gram pashmuti rice. Yes. I put rice cooker, 500 gram pashmuti rice. And now I put two glass water. Uh, normally, I boiled water, use boiled water. Yeah. So now I boil kettle. Okay. Uh, in this time, I put uh, spicy, five cardamom. Yeah. Two belly. Um, and then, do you like five green chili? This is for flavor. So, yes, Aklima. Uh, so, Aklima now, she's preparing broken rice. Yes. So, she puts 500 gram uh, broken basmati One. rice. One teaspoon olive oil. Yes. Uh, like uh, five. Jar paste, garlic paste. There's a lot of ingredients in that rice. <laughs> yes, yes. I yes. <laughs> <laughs> want just to actually be finished, then I will summarize everything. Yes, don't worry, everyone. Teaspoon ginger paste mm -hmm. and one teaspoon garlic paste. So prepare your pan or your rice cooker with and the puts in your pan with your rice cooker 500 gram broken basmati rice, uh, five pieces of cardamom. Please boil two glasses of water. A half teaspoon salt. Yes, a half teaspoon salt, one tablespoon olive oil, one teaspoon ginger paste, one teaspoon garlic paste, and the, the green chili, if you prefer, of course. And two glass water. Two glasses. Gram, uh, Two glass. Hot water. Actually. Yeah, hot water. You just put the no. green chili in whole. Question? Sorry? Green chili in whole. Yeah. Do you, do you, sorry, please say again. Do you put the green chili in whole? Green chili, no, without cutting. Yes. Uh, okay. yeah. uh, just like this. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Uh, please, Aklima. Just, uh, just, uh, just for flavor. Just for flavor. For flavor, yeah. And when cutting, the, then um, too hot. Okay. So just for flavor. Flavor. Okay. I put just for flavor green chili. Did you put the bay leaves, Aklima? Sorry. Did you put bay leaves? Bay leaves. Did you put bay leaves? Yeah, yeah, bay, 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 okay. leaves. Two, yeah. Bay, bay leaves. two bay leaves. Five cloves. Yeah, five uh, cardamom. So, sorry, no cloves. Uh, five cardamom. Every, uh, everyone put everything, every. Because I want just to check them if anyone use a rice cooker or a pan. I think Nina is using a saucepan. And I yes. think Hafsa and Mo are using a saucepan or rice cooker, a pan. Yep. And I think okay. Jasmine and Sadie are also using a pan as well. So everyone is using a saucepan rather than the rice cooker. But you just, everyone just do it as, as, as you would a rice cooker. It's the same process, really. Because um, I just want to check with Akima if they want to put the, 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 the pan in a medium heat or a high heat for a rice. Uh, rice cooker, I have only one heat. Just yep. cook. Yep. 
Yeah, but in only one system, uh, cook and warm, just cook. Okay. Uh, and for the saucepan, for the, Akrema, when people saucepan, are cooking by saucepan? When the saucepan, uh, just a little bit, uh, two, three minutes uh, full boiling, full heat. When boiling, um, then you put uh, medium heat. It's dependent uh, cooker, who, what type of cooker. I use um, electric, uh, electric hog. So this is little bit uh, too hot. Yeah. Mm, yes. Yeah. It's dependent. You guess. You use gas cooker or hob. Yeah. So uh, for anyone who is using the saucepan or pan, please just bring uh, put your rice or your pan in high heat for three minutes until you will see your rice is boiling. Then bring your your heat in a medium heat. Cooker in your medium in medium heat, please. And some okay. people uh, like rice um, uh, to um, soft, and some some people like a little bit hard. It's dependent. Okay. Yeah. Right. So, uh, is everything is okay? Uh, I will summarize uh, the ingredients, or everything is okay. Yeah. Everyone looks fine, actually, because they've all got the ingredients, haven't they? Yeah. Mm. Now, can I go another step, start? Yeah. Oh, yes. <laughs> uh, now, I think uh, first better, um, Avergin, uh, Avergin fry. Okay. When Avergin fry first, then can I use that pan again for fish? Okay, yes. So let's move to the next thing. Is the is the Vorta aubergine? What is mean Vorta uh, uh, acrima? Yeah. What is mean Vorta Vorta? Vorta, vorta mean, uh, a ma mash. Yeah. It's mm, mash aubergine. Just mash. Yeah. Wow. yeah. <laughs> we say Vorta. Our English mash. Okay. Mm. So uh, for uh, uh, Virgin Bhatta, uh, before I think everybody uh, done a um, little bit um, turmeric and salt. Yes, I yeah. That, yeah. Prepared um, slice uh, Virgin. Yes. I so think can I? So can I now? Yeah, uh, you just mean <laughs> so every everyone marinated the over slice of aubergine with turmeric and salt. Yes, great preparation. So take a pan and uh, prepare your pan to fry the aubergine slice of aubergine. So uh, one teaspoon olive oil. Yes. Put one uh, teaspoon of olive oil in a medium heat, in a high heat, aclima. Uh, medium heat. Yeah. Uh, medium, medium, or uh, my uh, half uh, ten. So I feel five. More so four, three or four. Okay, so it's dependent medium. heat to which type, what type of heat. Okay, because my be, uh, before my hub not uh, cook like that. This is I see too much hot. Okay, when I put uh, nine, seven. Yes. So now I put uh, four, uh, but uh, hub I see uh, for hub. First time you put nine, then heating, then you down. Down, down. Yeah. Because Good when idea. I hit down, down three or four, then no heating. Mm. Yes. So a little bit heat, then I put five, uh, five. 
So I keep now aubergine. So uh, put your aubergine in a little bit high heat, then with one teaspoon of olive oil to fry them. Aklima. Yeah. I want just to ask you how often you prepare this dish? Vegetable, like uh, with aubergine and other uh, side dishes. Sorry? How, how often you prepare them? Oh, I prepare. Um, yeah. Sometimes, uh, sometimes uh, once in a week, weekly. Weekly one time. Yeah. In a special celebration or occasion or just in like? Normal, uh, normal, normal, uh, normal. normally just uh, fry. fry. Uh, my son like fry our gym. Okay. Just fry. But uh, uh, mesh, she, he doesn't like. Okay. So when uh, mesh um, our gym, occasionally when a uh, coming invited person. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah. In this time, uh, everyone okay? Yes, please cover your aubergine and uh, yes. Yeah, please cover, cover up. So in meantime, uh, what are you preparing? In this time, uh, another pen I can use uh, for Tommy to Yes, try. please prepare another uh, medium or small saucepan for Vorta tomato. <laughs> tomato. No. Already uh, we are done two pieces, tomato. Yes. Uh, cherry tomato. So organized. I love all the prep to this mm. from before. <laughs> and what they need for uh, the Vorta tomato? Um, four or five. First, uh, heating a little bit, nine. When pan hot, hot. Yes. Heating pan, then yeah. I keep five down. Keep down. And a uh, little, uh, can I use a little bit uh, olive oil? One teaspoon. One teaspoon, yeah. One teaspoon, yeah. Please uh, prepare another pan in uh, high heat with one teaspoon of olive oil. Yes. And put tomato. Yes. How much tomato, uh, Aklima? Uh, 15. 15 pieces. Yeah. Our recipe 15 pieces. 15 uh, cherry tomatoes. Cherry tomato and a uh, half teaspoon salt. Please add half teaspoon salt. with 15 tomatoes, cherry tomatoes, cut in, in half. We give you this before uh, hand with uh, a half teaspoon, uh, with one teaspoon of uh, olive oil. Get all the cherry tomatoes that go in, or do we save any? No, all of them, all of them, Jasmine. Thank you. In all of them, yes. But please don't forget your oh. other salt, salt, your pan. Salt, one for teaspoon, not half. And uh, tomato, so one for. One of salt, yeah. Teaspoon. Yeah, salt, one for. And cover up. 
and heating low fiber core four. Now bring your pan in a medium heat with one teaspoon of olive oil one and cover cover up. Yeah. Please, your tomato add one teaspoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of salt, and cover, and bring your pan in medium heat and cover it. So please check your uh, aubergine. Yeah, need to check aubergine. I love this, Hanan, because yes. at the point you have so many dishes at the same time, right? Yes. Yes, so I think the people who are cooking in pairs, this is a good idea. Uh, <laughs> I prefer to cook in this way because yeah. everybody, 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 everybody keeps keep coming to, yeah. uh, in pan. That now, can I use another pan for yeah. uh, frying coriander? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Can I start? Yes. Yes, definitely. So they are also. Please, uh, what is the name of this? Is a Vorta uh, coriander? A Vorta... Coriander, Vorta, Coriander, Vorta, Evergine, Vorta, all of them. <laughs> all Everything's of them. mashed. The first <laughs> time when I come uh, from Italy, my one friend, yeah. I like always Vorta. Yeah. So she uh, done for me 20 types. Of Horta. <gasps> Horta, wow. wow, so and cool. Ita Italy, when I leave Italy, everybody when invited just uh, bira biryani, but I don't like biryani. Oh. So when anybody uh, invited me, then I said, when Horta, I am okay, I'll go. <laughs> <laughs> when no, I will go. Then every, every lady, every, everyone competition. Yeah, wow, this someone is very 10, nice. Someone yeah. 15, someone 20, highest 20. <laughs> you can imagine 24 Vorta recipe. Oh, wow. it would be like a, a competition, really. Yeah, Vorta <laughs> competition. Now I see our Bengali, uh, any party without Vorta, no party. Yes. <laughs> everybody Is the likes, party. Is Vorta no party? Like everybody, everybody likes Vorta. <laughs> One, two, or three. Money. That's going to be my new motto in life. Yeah, me no, too. No board and no party. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so Aklima, what is what is the particularity of your Bengali Bengali cuisine? There is, or maybe why your cuisine is unique? Why? Uh, why Borta? No, why your cuisine in general, Bengali cuisine is unique? Oh, normally our cuisine are rice and um, one vegetable and one lentil mm -hmm. and uh, fish or meat. Okay. We like fish and some now other children, our children like chicken. So okay. I see now everyone's, uh, every family uh, have done every day chicken but i don't like chicken <laughs> i like fish always fish our fish or um a british fish but i like always fresh fish uh, so um bengali fish this is frozen so i don't like yeah fresh fish uh... and my uh, my husband don't like we like uh, always uh, fresh fish mm. yes I, I believe it's true because especially but our Bengali people always um, it is um, Bengali fish. Mm, yes. Always come from uh, Bangladesh, Bengali fish. Uh, you, uh, I think everybody will know there is one shop, uh, big biggest shop for fish for Bengali item. Oh wow! Because this the way in, in Bulgari cuisine, the fish is a famous because the, maybe they call it the fish is the queen of the recipe because mm. they yeah, yeah. So half a mm. teaspoon olive oil, one teaspoon of olive oil for um, coriander. We put now coriander. Yes. Uh, so prepare the third uh, 
pan uh, or saucepan to prepare uh, coriander water, she put one uh, teaspoon of uh, olive oil. Everybody knows tomato uh, come out water. Mm. So they need little bit higher. And um, evergreen always like oil. Yes. But dry, always have you seen? I think everybody oh, need to uh, check our rice. Yeah, have how's everyone's rice food? smelling? Is it smelling good, everyone? Have you? I think yeah, have some smell good. Bashmati rice. Mm. My rice already going warm. Yeah. Okay. So finish. Uh, no mustard oil yet, right? Just olive oil. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah. Mustard oil, when, um, just mash, then I will use mustard. Mus mustard oil, not. I, no. uh, last time I know, uh, I know, but UK banned mustard oil. Yeah. So you just uh, English mustard. Yeah. <laughs> Here is the English mustard. Yeah. Don't worry. <laughs> when uh, have Don't mash, worry. then I will Boom. use. Yeah. We will use just English mustard, strong. Uh, we need rice a little bit. Uh, now I put rice uh, on the top. Rice is finished. Uh, fried, uh, yeah, rice is finished. Okay, so take it off the heat. Please. Oh, sorry. sorry, just a minute. Just a minute, I leave coriander, then I leave decoration. Rice, not okay. now. Now just leave. I, I want just done, to check. Yeah. Done. Yeah. Rice finish. Please, did anyone uh, finish the rice? Because uh, I think eight minutes. With yeah, the just take it off the heat, yeah. and then we can yeah. move on to the coriander. I think. Yeah. So with the coriander because uh, for mash coriander yeah. to uh, bounce a little bit keep I for uh, mash for the uh, evergreen and tomato just little bit I keep keep out for and others just try Okay, so don't use all of the coriander. No, just a little, a little bit keep out for uh, tomato and uh, evergreen. So, uh, because we, we said in the recipe three bunches, just use two and leave one to add with the, with the tomato, aubergine, and uh, like one bunch. The quantity yeah. of one bunch, just leave uh -huh. it for for uh, tomato, aubergine, and um, fish. So the pan put two bunches uh, finely chopped. Yes. Finely chopped in your pan with one uh, tablespoon of olive oil. Yes. This never and ever I tried the recipe with the parsley and coriander like this recipe. Me neither. Really? Really. I love I love the thing I love about these dishes is the different ways Please from me how you cook. Check the aubergine. Yes. Please the uh, if your aubergine become golden brine brown, then flip it uh, to the other side and check your pan. So check the tomato as well and uh, bring your pan in the high heat. And probably to high heat, then yes. I think without water, better without water. Because Too much water is probably out water. Mm -hmm. Ah, so you want to get rid of all the water in the tomato. Yeah, I and, see. Um, but need to check 
Can we don't check that? <laughs> I want just if you if you want to steer your uh, tomato as well. Too much noising. Yeah. <laughs> and a uh, half teaspoon uh, salt for coriander. Please add half teaspoon salt in your uh, coriander recipe and the stir all together because tonight it's, it's a really like, like it's like a really a cooking activities <laughs> uh, have to manage with coriander i like coriander without cover because when we uh, we cover up coriander then coriander color gone yes so ah. i like always uh, fresh green color mm, good point so leave the coriander uncovered mm. Please uh, don't cover your pan, your coriander, because the most important thing is to keep the original uh, color of coriander, of course, because overcooked uh, coriander uh, change the fresh uh, texture of coriander, okay? So uh, I'm just checking if anyone it's okay if anyone is the same state with Aklima. Let me go into Nina, the gallery. You are alone tonight. Where is your dad? <laughs> I, th I think tomato done. Uh, okay. Tomato fry done. Please. Okay. Yeah. I want, if you want to hold your the, the tomato pan, then you can see the texture. Oh, let's see yeah. Nina's. Nina. That's Nina's. Yeah, have a look, Aklima, please. Aklima, can you see Nina's? Uh, tomato. Yeah. yeah, is it okay? Can you see Nina's yeah, one? Uh, yeah, 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 done. 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 Uh, thank Good. you. <laughs> nice. And Aklima, can you show us yours? Please, Aklima. I think also uh, coriander done. Okay. And coriander, when too much cooking, then color change. So I don't like too much cooking. Good. So and the, coriander normally we, we can eat without a cooking. Okay. So, so just for blend, uh, just need a little bit fry. Just little. So the color, coriander is done. Like take just a minute. The tomato is done. Uh, aubergine is still in a pan. Uh, so please, Aklima, I want you to show them the texture of the coriander. Please. If you coriander. Can, yeah. Uh, leave it, leave it. Just, just bring it to the pan. Yeah. Okay. Have you seen? Can you see? Mm. Huh? Yeah. No. Okay. Yes. Just now, this is I put uh, for uh, blending. Yeah. Please now. Switch off uh, the cooker, the tomato and the coriander. Just leave the aubergine. So I have a comment for you, Aklima, tonight from Carolina. Hi, Carolina. Uh, she said it's look delicious and Aklima so organized. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so organized with very, very nice kitchen as well. <laughs> I know, I love your kitchen. Yes. So Jasmine and Sadi. Please remember your aubergine. Aubergine. I think aubergine finish. Yeah. I think also aubergine finish. Okay. tomatoes. Oh, we can't see you, Jasmine Do and you Sadie. Oh, what? What happened See, to your... We missed it tonight, Jamal and Asma, because <laughs> always you are uh, you can, you are you are together. One is, one is working and one has yeah. the baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, did you finish everything? The rice, the tomato, and uh, okay. Yeah. So here is the rice. Yes. Ah, oh, okay. Aklima, have a look. Aklima, have a look. 
Yeah, rice nice. Yes. Uh, Amazing. When decoration uh, with um, onion fry and a uh, little bit um, cumin, then look like so nice. Uh, they finish already the aubergine. Ah, oh, okay, good. Uh, aubergine finish, fry, yeah. uh, tomato finish. Now um, blending coriander. Same. Now I am uh, now I am blending coriander. I use blender, hand blender. Okay. Everybody, everyone with me? I think so. So prepare your electric blender to blend the coriander. Yes. So, uh, blend your coriander for 15 seconds, I think. And so, after that, Akima will show you uh, the texture of the coriander. Yeah. So, uh, Akima. I think, I think she's still finished. blending. <laughs> I think finish blending. Yes. <laughs> oh. And yeah. I think. So, uh, okay. Everyone done? Yes, I think so. Just minutes, Sadi. Yes, I think we finished already. Nina as well. Hafsa. And Mohsin. So there's no other spices now, there, is it? Or do we add the I, spices at the end, Hanan? Uh, now I mixed here. Add the, half, yeah. Now I mixed here half uh, English mustard. mustard. Uh, yeah. Normally we use a mustard oil, but uh, last time I see here banned mustard oil because uh, mustard oil problem uh, increasing. Uh, our hair for uh, not good for our health. Mm, I forget uh, what happened for oil, so we can't use now. So, but Akima, just what? one thing, please. Uh, just if you hold the, the, the coriander, they can see the texture of the coriander. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's show them in the camera. Yeah, you can show, show near the cooker. That's a good idea. Go to the cooker. And I can show you um, with the coriander there. If you take it over. Yeah. This is too much heavy. Oh. Uh, too much heavy. Ah. <laughs> yeah, this is too much heavy. This is a oh, storm. Yes. Have you seen? Yeah. Yeah. So now this is uh, add, add half teaspoon mustard, English mustard. Yes. Please add half teaspoon of English mustard to the coriander. Yes. Please now add half teaspoon of English mustard. It's very strong. Yeah, English mustard very strong. Yeah. But um, for vodka, uh, strong better. Yes. Uh, mustard oil, uh, mustard because I think uh, normally uh, when um, winter season, cold time, cold time, then we use uh, mustard oil for whole body and eating vodka. It's very healthy, the mustard oil, if you use this for a body. Then it's banned for food, but it's fine. Yeah, but, but now, uh, when I, uh, I am a small, uh, my childhood, I see my father cooking all um, by mustard oil. Mm. When you when you cook mustard oil with um, meat, nice flavor mm. and tasty, so tasty. Yeah. So, uh, 
So let me check if anyone finished the blood, the coriander. Yes, I think. Yeah. I think everyone's really happy. Uh, Aklima, uh, just one thing. I know you are very, very, very nice uh, teacher, but I want just to ask you this question. Who inspired you uh, to cook your Bangladeshi dishes or Italian dishes, I know? <laughs> Who inspired you in life to cook uh, your Bangladeshi dishes? I like all these Bangladeshi dishes, rice. Without rice, I think I can't live. <laughs> now I think always for uh, diabetes control, need to uh, rice a little bit. When I leave Italy, Italian person say, every day, two times you uh, eat rice. This is not good. But who, who inspired you? Your dad inspired you some dishes, some uh, rice. Uh, yeah. Because uh, my mother died when I am th three years old. Yeah. So we see always my father with me. And when uh, my uh, sister, uh, their sister, for, uh, for us, um, uh, they got the me. Uh, when I am three years old, he, she is uh, seven years old. Then I see every time she is cooking. Oh. So uh, I have I have um, one comment from Omar. Say please, Akrima. I, I think now, but, but I think now, hearted person inspired me for cooking. Oh, oh I am so grateful. You don't have to say that. <laughs> <laughs> but because um, always I think everyday cooking this is boring, boring. But now I see when I I am um, cooking with uh, enjoying heart and parcel, then I feel this is hard. Mm. I think uh, cooking is always hard. Yes. Can yes. I say something, Hanan? Yes. So Aklima, I know Aklima for many years, and Aklima doesn't. She cooking is not her favorite thing. Actually, her favorite thing is art and photography. Yes. But she always loves cooking through. She always comes to every session. She used to come and watch and take photos. She was much more interested in watching people cook and that process. So yeah. It's just so sometimes, lovely to finally some, watch her yeah, cook. <laughs> sometimes some people say, uh, some ladies say, she she doesn't cook. She she always <laughs> photography. She takes all this photo. Then Clarence said uh, she is our photographer. Yeah. yeah. So I am you know, we should be proud, uh, uh, Claire, because we bring Aklima to admire uh, uh, cooking and sharing the recipes. Exactly. It's she has amazing, exactly. amazing recipes. But you don't, yeah. you don't have to be a good cook or you don't have to enjoy cooking to, to be part of part and parcel or to even enjoy food. I think that's the most important thing. It's just about how you connect with it, really. And Aklima has been for many years a... Uh, a supporter and an observer of Heart and Parcel. And we're just so excited to have her in the cookbook as well, coming up soon, which will be really, really good. We'll be taking some photos very shortly. And I was really excited to work with her because now, uh, many work she put. Now I, uh, I need to. Yes. Uh, our skin off. Because virgin skin is not good for health. So, uh, if you want, if you want, take the skin. If you like the skin, just leave it. This is my opinion. <laughs> <laughs> is this your yes. special cooking note, but, Hanan? <laughs> but I think all, But I think always need to think health, health, healthy food. Oh, but they say that the skin is very healthy. There is a magnesium and the potassium as well. Because yeah. um, allergy skin not digest, no digest. Oh, okay. We it have an opinion there. Point of view. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think? We need to leave a little bit cold. Then. Yeah. 
I can. Then you can match or blend, yeah. Mm -hmm. In this time, we fry fish. Akliba. So I'm only for less fish. You want just to check, Nina. Nina, everything is okay? Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the skin on that. Uh, yes, yes. You are you are in my side. <laughs> the only thing is I accidentally read the instructions wrong, so I only had one bunch of coriander. My my pile is a little bit smaller. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm, That's funny. <laughs> I'm just worried if you like the recipe, how you can, how you can, how you can have just this small. Our fish oh. is too oily. The fish, the hills, the fish. Yeah. We went uh, I, uh, my childhood. I live Cox's Bazaar. This is one city, our healthy city. This is near uh, the longest beach. Okay. So, um, CCC area, this area, and always we uh, take um, Hilsha fish and so taste Hilsha fish there. But nowadays, not like that. And uh, Hilsha fish too much oily. And uh, I remember um, my sir, uh, uh, sister um, take off um, oil, um, other, uh, another cow. Then we Sometimes we eat oil with rice. Okay. Wow. So because I think this is the way it shows his fish because it, it's there. Um, it's but some people like, uh, but our our river has also um, uh, two one famous river, Pabda. They are Pabda in Hilsha. And so tasty. And some people like um, sea fish. Uh, see Hisha, some people like pop the Hisha. Two different things. Yes. So, uh, so now we fry we fry Hisha fish. I want to I will just check with them if anyone uh, find Hisha fish or if you are using any another kind of fish I'm using salmon today. Salmon. Yeah. Oh. Salmon. Katsa, Mo, what are you using? Same. Same salmon. And I think Jazz and Sadie might. Are you are you using fish, you guys, or not? Yeah, we have salmon. You have salmon. Mm -hmm. yeah. Are we frying the fish in any oil? Oh, good yeah. question. Yeah. Aklima. Yeah. yeah. Do you add oil to the fish? Yeah. yeah. Now, yeah. now I bring that oil. One what is your spoon? Yeah. And garlic paste and ginger paste. One teaspoon ginger paste and one teaspoon garlic paste. Okay. Prepare your pan uh, with your flake salmon or hersa fish with one teaspoon of olive oil, one teaspoon of garlic paste. So in medium heat or high heat, Akrima? Medium heat. Please, in a medium heat, okay? Medium heat. I will try. And one teaspoon mustard. One teaspoon mustard, mustard use. A half teaspoon. Yeah. Please add half teaspoon uh, English mustard. And in a medium heat. I can see the Hilsa fish has lots of oil. Yes, yeah. I can see now. So it's a very oily fish, so usually salmon mm. or mackerel. So I think useful. you can use without oil, but for a little bit, but better. 
How interesting. Yes. Or maybe with the salmon, they can add one tablespoon. What do you think, Aklima? Excuse me? With the salmon, uh, they will use uh, one tablespoon or half teaspoon. Uh, which one? With the salmon fish. Some people are cooking with salmon tonight. Do they add also, oil? I think I think salmon fish also oil. Also oily, yeah, it is. Yeah, I think salmon so fish too. has too much too oil. I think so too. Yeah. It's dipping. If if the salmon is a big fish, is mm. not fatty. But the small salmon fish is too fatty. Uh, it depends. Uh, the, 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 you know, and Anne, you have so many different views tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Aubergine skin off. <laughs> You're changing the recipe. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm like the participant tonight. This is the best way when Akima said this is a cooking is art. Because anyone had the vision uh, about uh, yeah, definitely CCP, yeah, their own interpretation of it, definitely. I know our skin off. <laughs> Please uh, uh, just stir your fish in a medium heat, and uh, I think all of them. Uh, take the skin off just a while. just if you want uh, please take off the cover pan from the uh, the front of camera Aklima, please oh, oh sorry this, this, this. yeah 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 <laughs> thank <laughs> you i was just gonna say the same thing thanks Aklima. so the best thing i'm looking now is the mortar and the pestle. If anyone have the same one, I know have the hard one. <laughs> in my country, we use this with the, um, like uh, in, what is this? Is the, in a metal, you know? I don't know. Yeah. Uh, we use this in uh, um, like auton metal, you know. I don't know if you have if you have any idea about uh, the metal we use. The metal, like yeah. a metal mortar yeah. and pestle. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Very, very, very unique. Yeah. Mm. I will send you the picture. It's very, very nice. So uh, now, did you bring? Uh, ah, please cover your your fish. And medium. Yes. It's too dry. So uh, Aklima is taking the skin off and putting all the aubergine in mortar and pestle. So. I think. Uh, are you using your your homemade cooking, Akima? You yeah. use a lot the mortar in your in your homemade cooking. You use a lot the mortar and pestle. You use it in your uh, how, how, homemade kitchen. Please say again. Sound is not good. In your homemade Bangladeshi kitchen, you use a lot mortar and pestle. I can't hear. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> wow, that aubergine looks lovely, lovely and soft. Yeah. Really nice. Yes. Is the fish still on a heat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. In, in a medium heat. Um, <laughs> yes. And it's covered. Thank you, Rizwana, for joining us in live streaming. Mm. She's very, very, very top and the top chef. Hard oh, yes. A teacher as well. <laughs> I think Aklima remembers Rizwana actually from the classes. 
please, if you have any question for Ahmed tonight, be free to ask. Uh, how just I use uh, for topic for blend now just use uh, mortar, huh? mortar. Yep. Yes. Mortar. Just use this mm -hmm. for topic. Yeah, for energy. Yes. Match the energy. Because uh, when uh, blender is too much blending in the water. Oh. Some people just start and. Oh, that's interesting. So you can blend the coriander, but mash the aubergine. Because I think the aubergine drinks a lot of water, like uh, the tomato, this way, the mortar. So just for five seconds, Mash your aubergine. Mustard. Mm -hmm. Half teaspoon of English mustard. Yeah, Add in your aubergine. Is in mix all together. The aubergine with half teaspoon of English mustard. And half teaspoon uh, dry chili. Mm. Chili flakes. Lovely. And half teaspoon dried chili. If you like, you can add more. Of it. Please check your uh, fish as well and see it. Sometimes we still stir your fish. Please say it again. Say it again. Uh, your uh, fish. Yes. Ah, so, she turn off and, the heat now. And tell me to. Uh, I use uh, till in heat. Just, on on heat. Here, just stir the fish. Uh, use here for. So the 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 bunch you left chopped finely chopped coriander. Do you remember? We, I, we asked, Akrima asked you to left one bunch uh, fresh, uh, finely chopped coriander, and divide this bunch in three in three portions. One add one with the aubergine. The first portion. And the second portion with the tomato, and the third with the fish. Is this okay? Just mean, uh, Nina. Please. You're with me? Yeah. I think they are. Everyone looks very relaxed. I'm Aberdeen. Mesh Aberdeen. Yep, everyone's mashing. Wow. Oh, Nina, that wow. looks nice. <laughs> now, it look, look, very nice portion <laughs> of Bergeen. Yeah, bigger portion than the coriander. <laughs> and I imagine everyone's kitchens are smelling lovely. You have one. Have you seen nice today food. my dish? Uh, most of this fish, like fish. What because do you say? My dish, all dish are fish. Oh, fish shaped dish. Oh, fish. <laughs> you're obsessed with fish. <laughs> even though, even though the the plates are like a fish. Yeah. And now tomato need to tomato mesh. Those are, there seems to be so much going on. I'm I'm yes. it's amazing. 
Please now put your tomato sauce uh, the mo in the mortar in the pestle now. And Aklima will show you the next step or uh, check your fish still in medium heat. You have a question, Aklima, from Gashin. Why you can't peel the aubergine? Uh, Sorry? Gashin asked you a question. Why uh, you can't peel the aubergine first? Oh, first, why not? Yeah. I think, but I repeat it like this. But I think uh, uh, sometimes when cooking vegetable, uh, we peel, peel our, peel, peel, peel aubergine because my son went uh, without fry aubergine. They don't like, doesn't, doesn't like. Then you can also, but I think when you fry, then round up. I mean, just this is we are habituated. Okay, uh, but you can. Yes, it's up to you. You can peel it before, but. Uh, as the uh, Akina uh, style the recipe, uh, she's doing this technique all the time. But it's up to you if you want to peel it first. Yes, why not? So, um, you take your pan, your Helsa fish, or your salmon fish. Do check, please, your fish. And I'll mash now tomato. Please, Akima put uh, the tomato sauce in uh, mortar, pestle, just... And also, you can uh, take off your to tomato peel. Ah, you can take... Because it also, tomato peel not good for health, not, not digest. <laughs> <laughs> Akuma, why don't you like the peel? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't like the skin. <laughs> but this is not good for health. One doctor said to me, this is not no digest. Oh. With, uh, you see, nowadays, lots of problems are asthma. Mm. And, and um, uh, I think you um, said to here, 15th January, I have Abdomen, upper, upper sound abdomen. Oh, really? Yeah, so I am um, escaping. Yeah, of course. I don't blame you. Yes, I'm looking at Jasmine and study, study. She's laughing a lot. <laughs> 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 yes. <laughs> but my, my, my husband said I am always conscious, but I have lots of disease. Oh. <laughs> So. I don't know. <laughs> so, uh, it, it, but I am always conscious, always. Uh, I think it's finished. Yeah. Great. Little Please. bit brown color. Have you seen? Yes. Have you seen? Yes. Yeah, we can see that one. It looks it looks great. I bet it smells wonderful. Uh, so, uh, Please. now we need to... Uh, left one thing, our hair with fish head and tail need to um, fry. Okay. I put this dish, and then too much bone. Oh. So with the same pan, uh, Akima. She is. She will fry uh, the head and the tail in the same pan. Uh, and same pan for head and tail. Uh, one teaspoon olive oil. One uh, teaspoon of olive oil. Is this for the fish head? Yes. Ah, okay. Head and tail. 
So some people might not have this one, but yeah, <laughs> but they can just watch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that looks interesting. Because she because she marinated the tail in the head with the turmeric. Ah. For this decoration. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay. So, uh, the, the coriander, Varta coriander dawn, uh, aubergine uh, dawn, finish the recipe. Uh, the tomato, uh, I think you will add other thing, uh, acrima, with the tomato. Excuse me? With the Varta tomato, what are you adding? Yeah, need, need uh, coriander. Is the second portion of fresh chopped coriander added to Vorta tomato or sauce? Uh, medium, medium, medium heat for fried fish and tail, uh, and uh, now use uh, coriander, and also you can use a little bit for fish. Yes. Use. Uh, the... I need a little bit um, skin off. Come with you. Aklima, could you move the blender? Is that okay? Move the blender. No, no blender. Blender. Too I know. Much, uh, yeah. Okay. The... Actually, just so move the blender. Just, just hand mesh, or can you use just water? Okay, can you move move the blender because I cannot see the camera. The camera. Oh, oh sorry, the blender. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so we can watch you. I just the peel out the tomato. The skin of uh, the tomato. Uh, it's up to you, but actually, uh, she is taking off the skin. So, and. Uh, I think everyone uh, finish. Because when you try your boiling tomatoes, the peel is too much um, hard. This is not no digest. Aklima, just may I ask you about what is the best uh, Bengali restaurant in Manchester? Can you uh, give us mm -hmm. The best, the best Bengali restaurant in Manchester. I need to listen to sound. You know what? I need to sound up. Okay, now it is stable. I think you turned uh, the volume up. So. Oh, where volume up? But where volume up without, I can't hear. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Now it's okay? Yeah, I think so, more or less. More or less. Oh. I know what to do. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe. Got it. Yeah. It's fine. Uh, come to my... Um, yes. And... Let us... <laughs> Ah, yeah. using your hand. Um, yes. Hand uh, finger. Oh. Finger. Easy if you want to use your hand, but gently and softly because. But when you can use, then this uh, smooth. Is it like. Um, like, uh, like, okay. Yeah, let's see. I add here uh, coriander, half coriander here, and half for fish. Yes, please uh, divide the, the portion left one uh, for. Uh, 
tomato and one for with the fish. Add chopped, uh, finely chopped coriander, fresh coriander with the fish and with tomato. Okay. So and mix uh, half, half teaspoon uh, chili flakes. Mm. Okay. And uh, add with the fish, add the chili. No, with the tomato, add flaked chili. And one teaspoon mustard. So I think finish our. And before I forget, sorry, I forget. I need to add um, also fried onion. Okay. So uh, you want to fry the onion? Fry the fry. Ah, uh, okay. Half keep for rice and other half. Uh, one one for, uh, Can I use tomato and can I use uh, aubergine? Okay. We asked you beforehand to fry two onions. Slide. Yeah, two onions. Yeah, yeah, good. And one for rice and one for tomato and one for aubergine. So please divide the fried onion. Uh, like uh, we divide this in three portions: one with the um, one with the rice, one with tomato, one with aubergine. Lovely. Yeah. Fried onions always make everything taste amazing. Yeah. Uh, so, Akima, uh, am I right? We, yeah. we fried onion. We will use this with the rice, with tomato, with the fish, and with aubergine as well. Oh, so two fish. Yeah, sorry, I forget. So one for one for for fish, one for rice, one for yeah. Sorry. Okay. I forgot for for fish. Also, okay. I. I can uh, can you use fish? Okay, mm -hmm. so because we use always money to pull a bit onion, use every dish. <laughs> so. My husband like too much onion, but I like little bit. Because happy I ask you if we if we use this. Fish, so uh, Akrima. Uh, excuse me, just a minute, just a minute, please, please, please. So, Aklima, uh, Hafsa asked you, we use the fried onion with aubergine as well? Just a minute, uh, too much fried onion, sorry. Sorry, please, please, please. Yes, uh, the fried onion, we use it with the aubergine as well? Yeah, also aubergine. Also, then we divide with the rice, tomato, aubergine, and the fish. Fish, yeah. yeah. We, we don't uh, coriander. And you can use coriander. As you like. You can so, use it. I think yeah. I don't like. Okay. So, Hafsa, divide the onion in four portions, okay? Yeah, good. Yeah. Because I asked you before about if you recommend us the best Bengali restaurant in Manchester, uh, Aklima. Sorry? If you, rec if you recommend me or maybe the, the Claire and other participants, the best Bengali restaurant in Manchester, if you, if you know one, just to recommend for us. Do you know? Do you know any Bengali restaurants? Is like they, they might be they have the nice food and the tasty food, homemade food. Oh, uh, any restaurant like, like yes, this? Yeah, yeah. Yes. No, I think I think no. But uh, uh, you know, uh, one lady Usha, she does always. She's sometimes done hundred times. 
dish, a hundred types dish. Oh wow! That that's uh, one of our previous okay. students. Uh, Clara, I think Clara knows her. Yes, yes, I do know Usha. Mm -hmm. Usha. Yeah. She 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 wants one shop for this. She looking. Long oh side. really? She looking uh, long side. She wants for, a shop for. And now she ordered. She ordering always from home. Yeah. Okay. okay, interesting. The water shop sounds good. She always be busy with her homemade food. Oh, wonderful! But uh, pandemic, we can't go. <laughs> her husband uh, her is um, uh, sick. Yes. So I be always be her food. <laughs> because I we have a question uh, what we do with the coriander cook yes I think is the, 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 the already done the recipe is like this we finished the coriander recipe did you add anything to her Hanan so uh, coriander just coriander the coriander half teaspoon of um, English mustard and the uh, half teaspoon of uh, salt and a uh, half teaspoon of uh, dried chili. Great. Uh, I think uh, finish our mashed potato, tomato, barbecue, and coriander. Great. I think with the with the coriander left just the decoration with the fried onion yes as i said before because the aubergine is done uh, tomato is done now and coriander still to decorate the uh, the vorta coriander i'm Look. looking forward to seeing the decoration of everybody's I want to see how everyone decorates it. Yeah, I think when we finish our fish, try to just select our decoration. Yeah. Wonderful. Yes. You know, uh, at Aklima when, when maybe because she is now uh, I want just to ask you a question about your um, because I know in in Bengali uh, like culture they have a six season no four season six hmm? six really really if you want wow. to share this information with us Aklima. I think she's busy. Yes, she's busy. <laughs> <laughs> Aklima, please answer my question. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't. Yeah, because I want you maybe to to share with them uh, in your uh, in your culture. You have maybe you celebrate uh, four seasons during no, six seasons. Six seasons. Six, season. six, six. Sorry, six seasons. Yeah. Six seasons. Yeah. yeah. What are the six seasons, Aklima? Uh, summer, winter, autumn, and baby uh, season. Oh, uh, another two. Ah, uh, forget. Uh, many of these I can't think. Of. Uh, summer. Winter, rainy season, autumn, spring, 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 another, forget. Oh, I'm looking that up. That's interesting. Because you know, this is very special. My life on a Like our, like our summer. Oh. Another, everyone likes uh, spring. When is it um, called a bird, bird, and uh, flower, blooming flower? So every 
everyone likes um, being ten. Okay. So they have things like the rainy season. Yeah. And they split up. Yes. And just raining, raining, rainy. But rainy is good, good for us because without our rainy, uh, our reputation not, not good. doesn't grow. Yeah. Uh, not grow. So they. <laughs> Because I, I remember one of those seasons is is like a, um, after no, summer. Yeah. Mm. Is the monsoon uh, uh, like they celebrate everything related to the summer that could, like a cultivation, like mm. feed, uh, vegetables? Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Very very interesting. Yeah. So I think only. I think finish our uh, dry finish. Everyone, finish. yes, yes, yeah. yes. So I need to decoration now. Mm. Um, oh, I think the sound of the man camera. Man camera. Don't worry, I've got it. Yeah. So I think yeah. Apple is just plating up now. No. No? no. Are you do, doing the fish now? Yeah, fish. Yeah, yeah. Decorating. Just be careful about the bones, please. Yeah, the bones yeah, coming you are through. Using mm -hmm. this. Yeah, yeah, you need to burn too much bones. Yes, there are a lot of bones, yeah. Yeah. But then, thankfully, people, uh, our generation, don't, uh, uh, yeah, we own, but our children doesn't fly. So, uh, Akima now she's plating uh, the Varta fish. You know, when uh, my childhood, I like always uh, fish. It's a fish, and every time my uh, protein cell a bone. Wow! Every time, and every time I say, um, uh, I don't, uh, I do, uh, don't take more fish, but again, take. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared, really. <laughs> my father always, I disturbing my father about this. <laughs> My son, my son likes only salmon and sea bean, the sun bean, and uh, prawn, prawn, only three fish. A Bengali, another rui, rui fish, rui, this is like, this is bone, little bit bone, and they straight in it. Uh, I think everyone finished your yes, yes. But my fish, uh, my dish, uh, fish dish, uh, my fish dish is um, not glass, like uh, plastic. So a little bit cold, then I put here. Now in this time, I am but without pickup. Uh, decoration. Yeah, yes. So maybe while that comes plating up, Hanan, do you want to talk? That without I can't decoration or finish uh, uh, top up. I want just to, to tell you that uh, Lisa, she is a cook fish as well for dinner, and she said you are cooking. Is so nice. Well done, Akima. Ah, oh, good. Yeah. But I think I I'm not organized. I am trying to organize. That's okay. It's very creative. Because yeah. 
But it's, it's like because art. I think like now it's... I am feeling always stressful. <laughs> so my son says, Mama, why are you doing this? I I say it's a little bit stressful, but I enjoy more. Akliba, they are all interested to see the final, uh, the final look where your dishes, especially with your fish leaves. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So don't worry, take your time. Okay. Take your time uh, because I know she is keen of any details of like presentation and everything. So maybe it would be a good time to talk about the finished stuff, Hanan, or should we leave, should we watch Aklama? Yes, uh, just we'll leave her to finish, yes. Yeah. Okay. Because we want them to be all together to see, but uh, she decorated, okay, everything. So... Do you eat the tail in the, in the head, Aklima, as well? Do you, do you eat the tail in the head? The fish tail in the head? Yeah. Ah. And uh, now just... Um, uh, yes. Have a look. I want just to see. Because she is now decorating. Yes of onion, a red onion. I ah, so it told represents you. the scales of the fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's very, very keen about Dita's decoration. Can you see? <laughs> <laughs> ah, okay, so let me see. Uh, your, we can't see their uh, final plate, okay? Yes, because I think many That's people have already one. finished, actually. Yeah. <gasps> wow. <laughs> that looks great. Really? It smells amazing. We can't wait. It does there. smell amazing. Oh, wow. Well, she Look made a little that. fish out of hers using onions. <laughs> amazing. <laughs> does it smell good? It smells yeah. incredible. So good. Oh, fantastic, fantastic. Uh, please, please, uh, Mohsin and Hafsa, please taste the, all the vegetables and the recipe. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Please, after that, we can see others. Then, yeah. uh, Omar, is your moment now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they joined. Oh, <laughs> oh I see. <laughs> Come over just for food. <laughs> I'm the half and password inspector. <laughs> <laughs> this is, 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 I told you, uh, the Aklima food is like a feast with a different. Uh, mm. Do you want to talk incredible. about the. Oh. It's absolutely incredible. Um, yeah. Good. It's really, really useful. <laughs> Great. Did you miss, uh, did you miss uh, mix uh, the fish with the vegetable when you are eating or with the rice? Yes, I had it. I mixed it all onto my ah, fork. Ah, okay. And I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> so jealous. Oh. And uh, Jasmine and uh, Sadi, did you finish? How are they doing? Uh, How's your Hi, dear. Um, we're kind of finished. We're still playing up. We've got a few things. So, oh, you can't really see. We oh, the aubergine. Ooh, this is good. Piled, piled some onions up on top. Oh, my gosh. Tomato. Wow. wow. I haven't plated the rice, the fish yet. That's uh, fine. I'm just heating the rice up a bit so it's hot. Mm. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. I'm wondering if um, Akima has her family waiting to eat everything that she's yeah. just made. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. good question. Akima, is your family eating tonight? Yeah, my husband has been waiting. She likes Mata. Oh, they're but waiting. Mata got a nice sandal. She would like. Uh, my daughter, like she's not here. She's now in university, in Malaysia. 
just after that, leave them to set up the kitchen, please. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's leave true. them to clean the kitchen. <laughs> Nina, you uh, you did your our best tonight, really, because you are made uh, well, well, yeah. now, you did everything. <laughs> so, because wow. I didn't have a plan for the fish, wow. I've got my fish there and then my rice. Look at that! And mm. then it looks it looks a bit messy and stodgy, but it tastes unbelievable. Oh, um, yeah. And my teeny. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can have a spoonful of it with your dinner, but it tastes lovely. <laughs> brilliant, brilliant. Look, <laughs> Nina, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, hilarious. Oh my God, Hasta, tell me, tell me your feeling. Tell me your feeling. <laughs> Eric, you can see. A mouthful here. It's amazing. It's so, so tasty. Really tasty. We, we say, love it. Say this. this this is a smell of a lot. This is smell of a lot. <laughs> I think the flavors are so good together. The mustard, the ginger, the garlic, the coriander. I think it just all works so well. And with that fish, it's just you, know, you can't beat that. Mm. And especially uh, because the variety of, of vegetable, I love. Uh, now different uh, way and vegetable like uh, a side uh, with the fish mm. yes definitely I love all the different dishes yes mix yeah. and match yeah mm. I like this idea of water so this just mashing all the different types and having it all out um so Akima instead of coriander we can use the uh, mint or parsley Oh mm -hmm. yeah, you can use parsley on. Yeah. Also, you can use. You like? You can use. Or oh, mint. Hmm. Mint as well. Mint. Mm. Uh, mint. Uh, you can use mint. Mint when you uh mint too much. Uh, when like you mint, I like mint. Ah, I sometimes okay. I, uh, I I I have done with mint. Just um. Uh, grating, uh, just um, chopping, fine, finally chopping, finely chopping, then I ca can use like this, okay. uh, yeah. just a hand. But this is a mint uh, good for health, more, more than coriander, I think. Yes. Uh, I'm happy for you. So now this is the way we left actually. But, my, uh, but my house, mm -hmm. uh, my husband or they, they don't like mint. Mm. But I like always mint. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Mint I like good. always healthy food. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got on the live stream. Jamal says, "Tell Hafsa's dad to stop eating my food." <laughs> and where is Jamal? <laughs> <laughs> come, come! Don't leave Hafsa alone with the food. <laughs> <laughs> This is the way we left um, Aklima, the last uh, ladies or teacher, last cook along. Uh, because we want to bring I'm, I'm you decorating. I need a little bit of time. Yes, no problem. Take your time. <laughs> and then I think decoration good is everything is good. I think that's a good idea then, Hanan, we can talk about the last bit now whilst yes. Akram is, she can focus on the, yes. <laughs> on the decorating. Then, yeah, then, yeah, we always. Yeah. I will yeah, share my screen. Yeah. Slide, okay. Yeah, good idea. So, uh, what can I say? Thank you so much. Uh, for joining us tonight, especially our participants. And uh, you are amazing. You are uh, like uh, amazing and fabulous supporter always to Heart and Parcel projects. And, uh, and all uh, people who join us in live streaming, again, please, please, please visit our website, Heart and Parcel, and support our next fundraising cookbook. And especially because, because we are raising funds 
to self-publish our second uh, cookbook, uh, Hearts and the Parcel Home to Home. Uh, your help and your support mean a lot of us. And especially uh, because we provide 71 online English class, we deliver face-to-face -face English cooking class, and uh, support 854 people learning English uh, through uh, food and the cooking. Of course, uh, I want to say big, big thanks for all your donation so far, and many thanks for our supporter again followers uh, in YouTube channel, please, and follow Heart and Parcel in Instagram, in Twitter. We, we like, we publicize everything related to uh, Heart and Parcel courses and activities. Again, big thanks to all our teachers in Open Kitchen 2.2, uh, uh, 2021 and 2022 and the people who believe in Heart and Parcel Project. Thank you so much for tonight, for everything you did, for everything, um, uh, like uh, your, um, your belief in Heart and Parcel. Yes, Claire, if you want to say something. I think you've <laughs> said quite everything there, really. I'm just echoing what Hanan um, is saying. It's just been so wonderful to have you all cooking with Aklima tonight. I am so confident about this dish. I don't even need to ask you if you found it delicious because I know it's absolutely incredible. Um, as Hanan said, we are fundraising for the next cookbook. Aklima's delicious recipes will be in there as well, plus many, many other beautiful recipes. It's all going to a good cause. It's funding our project. It's putting on free English classes for people who can't necessarily access the government-run ESOL classes due to their visa eligibilities, being asylum seekers, or perhaps maybe there's other restrictions there. So please, please do um, help us, support us. Even just sharing the fundraiser, as Hanan said, is really, really important. Um, and a huge thank you to uh, Hanan for just being the most incredible host tonight. You've thank just you. been amazing, not just for tonight, but for all of them. And when I went on maternity, I thought, who could I put my trust in to keep Heart and Parcel going? And Hanan, I can honestly say that you have gone above and beyond. Everything that you've done for us for this Open Kitchens project has just been incredible. And I'm sure Hafsa will also say the same. And thank you so, so much for looking after our project for us. Yeah, it's like uh, when uh, I start, I arise with Heart and Parcel project and this is like my baby, my daughter, my son. <laughs> when I came in Manchester like five years ago, it was like a uh, home for me. And especially I want to thank Nina, Nina uh, for have been a really uh, nice member of the team, especially <laughs> with the nice publicizing in Twitter, Instagram, well done, Nina. And I want to thank Khadija, the, the previous teacher of Open Kitchen 2.1. If anyone wants to watch again the recipe and other teachers' recipe, all of them, they are in our YouTube channel, Heart and Parcel YouTube channel. So thank you so much for Hafsa, is a trustee uh, and the member of the team of Heart and Parcel for doing amazing support in the job with the, always and always with her family as well and uh, thank you so much for all participants just me Sadi and uh, Omar I know and Jamal uh, and <laughs> all, all all member and Asma as well and uh, what can I say thank you so much for Aklima she's doing a really really nice job tonight I know she's alone I know she's She's excited to be the last one in Open Kitchen, especially Coco Long tonight. And uh, what can I say? Well done, Akrima. We want because all the people in the live streaming are waiting to see your final day. <laughs> yeah. Please. yeah. Just like <laughs> hiding behind the rice pot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it looks incredible. I can see it. Aklima, when you are finished, can you put it on the cooker so 
that we can see yeah. everything. Uh, I think the here, uh, just good for here, uh, if you, uh, your 100% book and I am trying just a little bit. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Give me just, just where I finish, then I, I think finish. Because right. you prepare the table, a nice table, yeah. with yeah. the, like, nice presentation. But in meantime, I want just to ask Jasmine, Sadie, and uh, Nina, did you taste uh, the recipe or everything you cooked tonight with the aklima? <laughs> Give me your feedback, please. I, know I am so I don't eat fish, so my parents are um, enjoying that right now. I think anyway. But the um, I was able to try the rice, which was really delicious. It was very fragrant and had lots and lots of flavour. I've never cooked rice like that before, um, but I definitely think it will be something I do in the future. Um, but my favourite has to be the aubergine. Mm. Yeah, I thought the aubergine was just absolutely delicious. And again, I'll be making that. Especially when the cookbook comes out, I'll be making it from there. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just very, very flavoursome. And I feel like you could have the aubergine dish with other things as well, just as a dip or um, it would go with lots of other meals. So mm. yeah, very delicious. Thank you, Akrima. Mm, wonderful. And what about Jasmine and Sadie? How's it going over there? <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hi. Uh, I basically haven't let Sadie eat any of it because I want to take a picture. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to take a picture oh. of the table first before we can eat. I'm not allowed. I try. Oh. Know, in a minute. We, we had little bits. We had little bits here and there and it was incredible. And every time I put the mustard away, it was like, no, there's mustard in there. <laughs> I think I put the mustard away after every time of using it, so that yeah. was quite funny. Um, but yeah, every little spoonful that I've sneaked along the way has been like so full yeah. of flavour. And yeah, it's been really fun. Thank you, thank you so much. <laughs> it's so lovely to have your energy tonight. Thank you. <laughs> and just, just I want to say something about Sadi. Your hair, your, the colour of your hair, <laughs> very, very nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Aklima. It's sweet to you. Aklima, you've got it's a big it. thumbs up from my parents. Oh, Aklima, oh. look. No. <laughs> I nearly finished <laughs> it. <laughs> I finished cooking it a few minutes ago and it's all <laughs> nearly gone. Oh. <laughs> they love it. They love it. Nina, you give them really a big satisfaction tonight. I know. Oh, <laughs> I know. oh that's so cute. <laughs> Aklima, can you yeah, show to the camera so we can see? Oh, there we are. She's doing it now. Yeah, just uh, finish. <laughs> Got to get that final yeah. shot. Yeah. Najla, Gashi, Lisa. Can everyone? Can everyone hold up? Um, there just one dish or something so I can take a photo of everyone um and hopefully Aklima will also do the same oh no Hafsa and Mo have eaten it oh no <laughs> yeah we've left oh, the tiniest amount we, we left some for we left some for Jamal and Asma but the problem yeah, is gone. it's all gone into Tupperware now <laughs> Oh, that's okay. I've just got this lovely photo of some some fish and uh oh, some stuff here. Yeah. <laughs> I've eaten that. I feel like a tiny bit of dip. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just show empty plates. <laughs> I've just got a, well, I've just got a photo of Jasmine and Sadie oh. there. <laughs> Akuma, Akuma, show me yours. Show me yours. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, where are we going? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> that looks beautiful. Have you seen? I mean, that does look amazing. That looks oh, amazing. you can take picture. <laughs> yeah. wow. Well done. How uh, can uh, we love it? Yeah. That looks so good, Akuma. Oh, why not coming out? No, that's fine. That looks perfect. Yeah, thank you wow. so much. How wonderful. Yes, yes, now. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, so, so just, just in this. Where are you going? That looks amazing. Well done, Akdama. Yes, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. 
Everyone can see. Yeah. Please, Aklima, hold the plate. <laughs> you can hold the plate of fish. I bring it close to the camera. Um, <laughs> I told you she's a photographer and she's an artist. <laughs> she's got that looks amazing. Well done, Aklima. Thank you, everybody. That is the shot that I needed. <laughs> okay, you guys can go eat now. Well done. Yay. Yay. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Lovely to see you. See you. See you. Thank you, everyone. Yeah.